I know. I look like I'm on vacation, but we can't take a break yet. We've had to get the show open. Chapter 11 begins the final chapters of the textbook, the third and final of three parts of our study into the discipline of theater arts. In these last chapters, we discuss the play while it's in performances. In this first, in part three, you'll learn how important stage managers and house managers are to making the show run smoothly, and we'll identify product-oriented and process-oriented theater artists. You'll learn, too, how incredibly important the prompt book you were introduced to in the last chapter is when running a performance. In addition to everything else in the prompt book, it also contains all of the cues, uh, changes in lighting, sound, and such during the play. Do you know who's responsible for this prompt book? You probably do by now, but do you know what is meant when we say that this book is used for calling the show? What's an equity like? And what does it have to do with all of the ghosts you find floating around the theater? What does the property master do? What is the flying crew responsible for during a performance? And what is spiking? Chapter 11 covers everything you need to know when it comes to managing a play in performance for an audience. There's even information in this chapter about the special handling required when using weapons on stage during a performance. It's a good chapter. Have fun reading it. <laughs>